Up north of the DMZ, the regime claims its latest test-fired missile is a newly developed precision-guided version that can hit a target with a margin of error of just 7 meters. Analysts outside the Hermit Kingdom noticed some progress. They did point out the accuracy is a big exaggeration. Kim Yan bin tells us more. North Korea's state-run Rodong Shinmun newspaper called it an anti-ship ballistic missile equipped with a precision guidance system. But military experts in South Korea believe it's actually a modified version of the Scud ER missile. Analysts pointed out that the missile fired on Monday is the same kind first revealed in a military parade last month for the birthday of the regime's late founder, Kim Il-sung. The missile has frontal wings in what's known as a canard configuration and was on top of a mobile launch pad. The canard is used to maintain the missile's altitude and help guide it to the target. The regime also claims that the missile has an accuracy of 7 meters. And while military experts agree that the North has made some significant strides in accuracy, it does not come close to that range. North Korea appears to have modified its SCUD missiles. The SCUD's margin of error is a few hundred meters, but this missile's margin was a matter of dozens of meters. So this increase in accuracy makes it a greater threat than the ordinary SCUD. For example, North Korea's Nodong missile has a range of 1,000 kilometers and is only accurate within 3 kilometers, while SCUD missiles fired from a distance of 300 kilometers are still only accurate to within 1 kilometer. To target ships requires precision and onboard radar that can track targets after launch, like a radar seeker or GPS. Experts say the regime's latest missile has a GPS system that can hit targets on land, but lacks a radar seeker to track a moving target or vessel out at sea. North Korea has successfully test-fired three of the four missiles it revealed in the last month's military parade. Only one left now is an intercontinental ballistic missile. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.